A good core exercise program trains all the muscles around the spine. When you perform a sit-up, we flex the spine like this over and over, which pumps the nucleus, the middle core of the disc, through the annulus to create a bulge or herniation, which you see right here, which presses on the nerve root, causing pain. The alternate exercise, we straighten one leg, we put the hands under the lumbar region, which supports the spine in a much stronger neutral posture, and instead of curling and bending the discs, assume that the head and the shoulders are on a bathroom scale, and the idea is to unweight the scale, a very spine-conserving form of abdominal challenge. It's also very popular to use a Swiss ball or a stability ball. In contrast, we take a posture almost like a push-up posture, but the elbows and the forearms are on the ball, and now stir the pot around in a circle, controlling her core so it doesn't move. That is how athletes develop tremendous athleticism and also avoid back injury. So up on one elbow, top leg goes in front, and we bridge up. We straighten the spine through. It's easier on the shoulder if we take the opposite hand on the deltoid, pull the elbow down, and we create a lot of challenge just on one side. It spares the spine, however, because this side is not very active. And now she's going to extend the arm and leg out, stiffening the core, holding that for a count of about 10 seconds. This time we're just going to sweep the floor with the hand and knee, no motion in the back, the motion is at the hip, and out again and we hold for another uh, 10 seconds or so. And then we can create higher levels by drawing squares. We square the hand and foot out, down, across, and up to the midline. All of that motion, Emma's gonna show us another cycle, all of that motion taking place about the hip and the shoulder and not about the back. You'll find that top level athletes train the abdominal wall in exactly the same way. If they did hundreds of sit-ups, literally their discs would break before the spine became trained to a high level.